Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. So the Chicago Bears just made a big trade out of the first pick in the NFL draft with the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers traded up in a big move. Let me tell you guys why this means Will Anderson will be an Arizona Cardinal. So now the Panthers and the Texans have the first two picks in the NFL draft. Both are desperately in need of a quarterback. Both are going to end up taking a quarterback. If not, they'll trade out and a team will trade in that really needs a quarterback. A team like the Indianapolis Colts, perhaps. But this means the Arizona Cardinals are going to get the shot at the first non-quarterback in the NFL draft, which is absolutely huge for us. I don't think we're going to end up trading this pick. We really need the best non-quarterback in this draft. We have a a shaky history of drafting players in the first round. And I way rather the Cardinals hit on a guy like Will Anderson, who's a can't miss prospect, a very high floor, a very high ceiling as well, than they get two guys we don't know is going to end up being good for us. So looking at the Cardinals needs, we do have a lot of needs, which I understand if you wanted to trade this pick, we need an interior defensive lineman. We desperately need an edge rusher, which Will Anderson is one. We need a cornerback. We really need a backup quarterback. We need offensive line help really at every single position at the offensive line. And we do need a higher ceiling at the running back position. But again, guys, Jonathan Gannon comes in here running that Vic Vangio cover four scheme. The Eagles were dead last in blitz percentage last year, which means the Arizona Cardinals this season is really going to need to generate a pass rush with our front four, with four guys. So getting into Will Anderson as a prospect, and I really like him as a prospect. First and foremost, going over some of his measurables, he's six foot three and a half. He's 253 pounds with 34 inch arms, which is an elite profile, really sturdy, really good arm length to really create leverage from the offensive of linemen. He's 21 years old. He's a junior, so he's a really young guy. The potential is endless with him. I think his best football is really ahead of him. Alabama used him in a weird gimmicky way, and oftentimes he was double teamed in college, so that production really isn't there from Will Anderson in terms of high-end sack numbers, high-end pressure rates, but again, his best football is ahead of him. My pro comp for him is going to be a guy, Demarcus Lawrence, a prime Demarcus Lawrence. He was tearing up the NFL. They've extremely similar measurables and they have extremely similar strengths coming into the NFL draft. They have a very good physical profile, not an elite top five physical profile, but still a very good physical profile. Nonetheless, let's get into some strengths and weaknesses for Will Anderson now. He has very good speed, great lateral quickness and agility, very good acceleration, elite burst coming off of the line. He's a guy who's really good at finesse moves, but make no mistake about it. Will Anderson is a bull rusher. He's going to come into the NFL as a bull rusher. The main tool in the main way to get to a quarterback is in a straight line. So bull rushers are the best rushers in the NFL. Obviously, you need a great tool belt to succeed in the NFL at the next level. And that's something that Will Anderson does have. He has a very very nice floor as a finesse pass rusher, and he has a very high floor as a bull rusher. So he's going to come into the NFL right away and have a lot of leeway in terms of the time it's going to take him to develop those finesse moves because he's already an elite bull rusher. So he's not going to have to rely on those finesse moves early on in his career. By the time that some tackles in the NFL really catch on to his bull rush moves, he's already going to have an elite tool belt to go to any move in his arsenal possible. Again, just absolutely elite burst off the line of scrimmage, great bend, and again, solid finesse moves. As a run defender, a very high floor run defender as well. He really does not over pursue. He's very smart in the read options. So many times I look at that Tennessee game, for example, where you had Hendon Hooker really running those read options. Every single play, Will Anderson would read it absolutely perfectly. Really high football IQ and a very high character. That's something that this Jonathan Gannon era is really going to emphasize. High football IQ and high football character. Will Anderson has been absolutely killing the interviews at the Combine. I love what I've been hearing from Will Anderson. If the Arizona Cardinals end up trading this pick to a team like the Indianapolis Colts, we really risk Will Anderson going to to a team like the Seattle Seahawks sitting at five. We don't want Will Anderson 
terrorizing the Arizona Cardinals in a Seahawks uniform for the next 15 to 20 years. We really want an elite high-end pass rusher. You look at a team like the 49ers, who is in our division. They just drafted Nick Bosa not too long ago, an extremely high-end pass rusher. You look at a team like the Rams in our division. They still have a very elite high-end pass rusher like Aaron Donald. We need that high-end pass rusher on our team. We really haven't had one since Chandler Jones was in his very prime Even then, he was kind of aging and didn't have that elite physical profile that Will Anderson is going to bring to the table for us. And again, guys, he's just a not-miss prospect. The Arizona Cardinals need safety. We need a high-floor, high-ceiling player. This is why we have the third pick in the draft. We really need to execute on this pick. So comparing Will Anderson to a couple of prospects that have gotten drafted in the last couple of years and whether I think that Will Anderson is a better prospect or not coming out of the NFL, draft. We have Trevon Walker, who was the first pick in the NFL draft last year. Will Anderson is easily better than Trevon Walker. I get it. Trevon Walker has a higher ceiling in terms of his physical tools, but to me, Will Anderson is so significantly more refined. And again, Will Anderson has good physical tools. Aiden Hutchinson, to me, they are very similar prospects, but to me, I like Will Anderson's physical tools slightly more. And to me, their tool belt is just about the same in terms of finesse moves and in terms of a bull rush. I like Will Anderson more. So give me Will Anderson over Aiden Hutchinson. Looking at Kevin Thibodeau now, again, Kevin Thibodeau has slightly better physical tools, a slightly higher ceiling per se, but to me, Will Anderson is a bit more of a fluid athlete. Sometimes when I watch Kevin Thibodeau, he's a little bit too upright and a little bit too stiff. To me, Will Anderson is a guy who plays with a significant amount of fluidity. So to me, Will Anderson would have been the number one pick in last year's NFL draft. Looking at a guy like Chase Young, Young. Chase Young, I think it's about an even comparison. Now, Chase Young is a very different prospect than Will Anderson. Chase Young has incredible physical ability, better than Will Anderson. But to me, Will Anderson is more refined, more fluid of an athlete, and just more of a tool belt going into the NFL draft. So I think they project pretty evenly. And that's saying a lot considering Chase Young was considered a blue chip prospect, which I would consider Will Anderson as well. Looking at Nick Bosa now as our last guy we're going to compare here. I think Nick Bosa is a slightly better guy coming into the NFL draft. Very similar physical tools. I think Nick Bosa has a slightly higher physical upside ceiling. In the mean, Nick Bosa had a very refined finesse game, really refined tool belt, which Will Anderson is going to need to refine at the next level. So looking at these guys, I think Will Anderson stacks right up with guys like Trevon Walker, Aiden Hutchinson, Kevin Thibodeau, and Chase Young. And I think a guy like Nick Bosa is slightly better than him, but nonetheless, I can't wait for Will Anderson to be an Arizona Cardinal.